Mientras los políticos en Latinoamérica nos dividen con tonterías populistas de racismo, nacionalismo y falta de ciencia, esta candidata presidencial tuvo el honor de entrevistar a nada más y nada menos que Neil deGrasse Tyson. Neil, thank you so much for this interview. Can you tell us a little bit why leaders should pay attention to science? Well, science is what created civilization as we have come to know it and to love it. From the smartphone to transportation, why planes don't fall out of the sky, why we have can feed everybody, why we're living twice as long as our great great grandparents. Mm -hmm. So science is not just something I choose to believe it or not. It is with us. It will serve our health, our wealth, our security, provided you recognize what it is and how and why it works. Mm -hmm. And all I tried to do here was to apply science and scientific rationality mm -hmm. to so many points of conflict that we have today yeah. in civilization where people dig their heels in and say, I'm going to fight you. Like you said in your intro, I caught a little bit of the Spanish. Good uh, for you. <laughs> yeah, the Puerto Rican there. Yeah, it's yeah. just a little bit of the Spanish uh, uh, over you know where you're born or what you look like or your gender. So much conflict that if you take a step back, oh my gosh, we're all the same. We're humans trying to build a future for those yet to be born so that the world that they inhabit, they'll look around and say, we're proud of what our ancestors did rather than look back and be embarrassed yeah. by what we did to the world that they inherit. As a presidential candidate, I really appreciate more scientists like you giving us cosmic perspectives on civilization. Madam President. Thank you. <laughs> Gracias.